In this video, we're going to go over a couple of examples that show the relationship between the recurrence relation formulas and the annuity formulas and how they can be interchangeable in certain situations, not always. So for this question here, we've got a person invests $10,000 at an interest rate of 5.2% compounding quarterly. How much after two years? So the first thing that I recognize with this question is that there's no deposits or withdrawals. That would indicate to me that it's a compound interest question. So that means we can use either the recurrence relation or we can use the compound interest formula. So let's go through the re recurrence relation first. The first thing I've got to do is I've got to find R. In this case, it's just going to be 1 plus 0.052 divided by 52 because we're compounding weekly. That gives us a value of 1.001. .001. And then therefore from that, we can write our recurrence relation with AO being 10,000. So if I want to find out how much there's going to be after two years, well, because we're dealing with weekly here, I'm going to have to do uh, 52 times two. So that's 104. So I'm going to have to use the recurrence relation trick on my calculator 104 times. So I, I would repeat this for A2. I'd continue repeating it. And when I do repeat that and do that 104 times, I get that number there, $11,095.43. So that's using the recurrence relation. Now you can see how it's a little bit impractical having to hit the equals button 104 times. So that's why, because this is a long-term investment, we would typically wanna use the compound interest formula instead. But we're gonna see in a second that you get the same answer regardless. So if I substitute everything into my compound interest formula, like I've just done here, and hit equals, notice I get the same value. And you can try this yourself. Feel free to use the calculator trick and hit the equals button 104 times on your own just to verify that I'm telling the truth. So another example now, we're gonna use the annuity formulas. So we've got a person invests $100 every month into an account with an interest rate of 3.6% for 10 years. So because we've just done an example, I'm jumping straight to the answer here. So I'd use my recurrence relation formula, I'd find R, I know that my D value in this case, my deposit amount is 100. So when I do that, because it's 10 years compounding monthly, that's 120 terms that I need to find. So once I hit the equals button on my calculator 120 times, that's the value I get. Then using the annuity formula, I do the same thing, I plug everything in, and as we'd expect, I get the same answer. Now with reducing balance loans, these are actually a little bit different. Although they're related to each other, we can't necessarily do the same thing that we just did. It gets quite complicated and it's above the scope of methods. You don't need to know this. So I'm gonna save this part here for another video.